So some of you on this channel will remember my clothing brand Ultra Pleats, which suddenly came to a close. Today I'm going to tell you all the story on how I got sued by the worldwide clothing brand But let's go back to the beginning. Ultra Pleat started in December 2020. It was a minimal menswear brand selling affordable, high quality garments. Ultra Pleat specialised in selling pleated trousers. They were the perfect everyday trouser. Super comfy, can be dressed up and down and go with pretty much all style aesthetics. It was all run by myself. I designed the trousers, website, shot the content, shipped the orders and the brand was growing really well. And we were starting to build a really great community. I started launching new colorways, new products, and even had my own pop-up shop for bank holiday at Urban Outfitters. Then on June 2020, I received this letter in the post. So this letter is a cease and desist. So for anyone wondering what that is, a cease and desist is a written notice demanding that the recipient immediately stop an illegal or allegedly illegal activity. The most common situations are intellectual property breaches, such as breach of copyright and unlawful use of trademarks or design. So for legal reasons, I can't disclose any of the documentation inside the cease and desist, but basically what they were saying is I was infringing their product. They're saying I copied their product and they're basically saying it's a copy copyright infringement. And the terms as lawyers wanted, they wanted to see selling all of my products, they wanted me to send over the rest of my products, they wanted me to disclose my supplier, they wanted me to send over my accounts, my sales, my profits, and they also only gave me a two week time span to get this all sorted. They even bought all five of my pairs of trousers to do a photo comparison, but I can't show you them. Honestly, I can't comprehend how scared and how stressed I was in this period of time. Like, I'd never even heard or received anything like this, especially I was only 23 years old and like I'd only started the brand for like six months at this point. I've been running for six months and I received a cease and desist. So I was scared, genuinely scared. And I know a lot of you thinking, you probably deserve this because you technically did copy them, which I didn't. I took inspiration and I filled a gap in the market. Their product is much more expensive and kind of like for the people who are really into fashion. They're priced around £300. I filled the gap by making an affordable alternative. So mine were £55 and they were a different fit, different material, they had different details, personal branding. They're, they're completely different markets anyway, so they're not even in competition. One's £300, mine's £55. Completely different markets. I was targeting people like my age, people who can't afford to buy designer fashion, so I gave them a cheaper alternative. It'd basically be like Levi's going to another denim brand and like giving them a season to for making jeans or like, for example, whoever invented corduroy trousers. If a brand that produces like Carhartt produces corduroy trousers, it's like that inventor giving them a season to assist. So it doesn't really make any sense. So I had owned Ultra Pleats for over six months at this point and I'd been grafting every single day to take the brand to where it was, bringing out new products, new lines, sunglasses, bottoms, shorts, bags, Urban Outfitters pop up and I wasn't gonna let this big brand just come in and take everything away from me. I'd recently read the book Shoe Dog by Phil Knight who's the owner of Nike and one story which stuck with me was their court case against Onitsuka Tiger, another shoe company. This went back and forth for a couple of months and in the end, Nike was successful and they were allowed to bring out their shoe. So from that, it gave me the motivation to go out there and find a solicitor. So I finally managed to find a solicitor and let me tell you, they are not cheap. This cost me £600 just for the setup fee. And we spent the whole week going back and forth, building our case to send back to the brand's lawyers. I show the solicitor all the other brands which are selling the exact same pleated trouser product as me. There are brands such as ASOS, Boohoo, Zara, Manet d'Ivoire, Second Skin, Cold Laundry, Salt Clo, all of them selling the exact same or similar products. So why had this brand just come for me? Also during the week with building the case for my solicitor, the brand had reached out to Shopify and they'd managed to get all of my products taken off my store. So on my website, I literally only had sunglasses. I didn't have any of my pleated trousers, any of my shorts, just sunglasses. I also reached out to the owner of Cold Laundry, an amazing minimal menswear brand, which also have sold pleated products. And I explained my situation and he gave me some really valuable insight. But yeah, just do your thing, man. Like, they honestly can't, can't do nothing. Like, it's fine. Like, the market is huge. And at the end of the day, you're not, your quality is not going to be the same as theirs. The, your materials aren't going to be the same. You know, you're not passing it off as their product. You know, your colours are going to be different. You know, so pleats are, are the ancient Egyptians invented pleats. Like, people have been doing pleats for a long time. Like, 
after my case was sent over, the brand completely disregarded all the other competitors selling the same product. They basically just said they're not backing down and they want me to close down. So obviously I went back to my solicitor and asked what should I do because obviously I'm still scared. I've only got a couple of days left now before the two week period. She said that every single email reply now back to the brand would cost between 500 to 1,000 pounds just for that one email and she can't determine how many times we'll go back and forth until we come to an agreement. So think about it, if it's three emails and let's say they were 500 pounds each, it would cost me 1,500 pounds just for those three emails, which is like an insane amount of money. She said the only option would be to take them to court, which you need 80 to 100 grand, which obviously to me that is an insane amount of money at the age of 23. A new brand, I could just not afford that. And with, sadly to say, that is how Ultra Pleats came to an end. Like I couldn't fight on legal fees. They were just gonna keep going back and forth until I had no money in my bank account. Which is really sad to say, it was so frustrating because it's like, we didn't come to a proper closure. It was just like, you can't afford it. So that's kind of it. So instead of using my solicitor, I represented myself for the final email, which read, I do not admit any liability to the claims you make in your letters as Ultraplete is a completely different brand to your brand. Our products are manufactured using different materials, different shapes, different branding and different features. You have also disregarded all of the other large incorporations selling pleated trousers which were listed in the letter, which reinstates that your brand isn't the sole owner of the pleated design. Unfortunately, due to Ultraplete being a new small business, I cannot continue to incur the legal costs. Hence, I will no longer be selling these pleated products on my website and trust this will now be the end to this matter honestly it's pretty like sad and emotional because i put so much time and so much effort into growing the brand and it was at such a good point like it was growing like i had so many ideas for it i even bought like 150 hoodies like i still have them blank hoodies that are ready for this amazing idea concept that i had but there was no point because the brand had been destroyed like you can't exactly call it ultra pleats when you have no pleated products like that was basically the end of Ultra Pleats, and that is a story on how I got sued. So all of these fundamental skills and mistakes I learned while building Ultra Pleats, I can now put all that energy into my new clothing brand, Episodes Project. The things you own end up owning you. That was the story and how I got sued and this is also my return to YouTube. I want to thank everyone who supported this channel and also thank everyone who supported Ultra Pleats when it was live. If you do want to continue supporting then definitely go check out the new brand Episodes Project. We have some really exciting drops and we're always trying to go outside the boat and collaborate with new designers to create the best collections for you lot. I'm now going to only focus on YouTube videos which give value back to you lot. So if you are interested in that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment what other videos you'd like to see and if you enjoyed the story and hopefully episodes project doesn't get sued too see you on the next one peace